Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. <clears throat> so this video is was really motivated by Black Scout Survival because he just did a live talking about how World War III is essentially here. And, um, you know, we all need to be doing what we can to prepare for it. <clears throat> and he, he kind of made some remarks about home and gardening and, you know, soy lattes and stuff like that. And I felt like it was slightly perhaps directed towards people like myself who spend a lot of time talking about, you know, growing hemp and taking care of the planet and things of this nature. And I just want to, you know, share with him, if, if you haven't just watched this, why I think it's a very important, um, there's, there's a very good reason why I'm continuing to speak about hemp. Um, so yeah, I hope you listen. So anyway, so, so strategically speaking, I feel this is more, I mean, it's, there's physicality things that are happening, but there's also spiritual things that are happening. And I do believe that there is a, a, a race of extraterrestrials that are malevolent that are here on the, in this planet and have been working with um, certain human families, giving them literally technology. And they've, I think they've made a deal to, that allows them to abduct human beings um, because these, these malevolent extraterrestrials, you know, eat us as food, just as we eat other animals for food. Um, and there's also human beings who have adopted their ways and have started eating other human beings and, and drinking blood and, and, you know, sucking energy and all this type of shit. So and I think a lot of that comes from these malevolent extraterrestrials because they've shared knowledge of how you can extract energy from one being to another. You can suck their energy up like a fucking vampire, like, you know, and essentially suck people. Or, and once you get them operate, but they need, they have to be at the right energy level. So this is why they want us at a lower vibrational level. It's because that is the type of energy that they feed off of. If we're at a higher vibrational level, they can't feed off of it. They're actually repelled by that. So again, going back to spiritual defense, you know, because everything happened, everything that is happening is being allowed to happen, I believe, by a most high. Like there are different levels of, of gods and energy and sources and whatever you want to call them. There's, there's these lower demonic realms and there's more what you could call angelic realms. And so like in order to, to get, you know, a spiritual protection from a higher plane, which is what I think we're going to need or some type of assistance, we're going to have to be living and operating in a way that is conducive for, for love, to grow, for, for life, to, to use what lessons we've learned in this life and things that we can help, to, the things that we can use to help life grow. We need to actually be doing these things to show to the people upstairs that we're actually learning from our mistakes and changing our ways, no matter what's going on. Because right now there aren't fucking boots on the ground here in America fucking kicking indoors. That's not happening right now. So we have time right now to make a difference. If people really got motivated, it wouldn't be that hard to, you know, secure plots of land all over America and start spreading the message and start opening up business for people to come here and work and start helping grow hemp. And you can share all the good information about hemp while doing so and also open opportunities for people to leave these cities and to come and to work to help to grow the hemp and to build a whole new infrastructure that's in good alignment and good harmony with everything. By doing this stuff, we will then show the people upstairs that we have learned from our mistakes and are not going to continue to perpetuate cor corrupt cor uh, corporations that are continuing to kill this planet and the animals and the people on it. And and it's, that's essentially saying that we're, we, we've... That, that we're choosing not to be a part of something that's killing itself. And that we want to be a part of something that is instead perpetuating more life and love for itself. That would be in, in alignment with a higher dimensional thinking. Um, so, and not to mention that if we are going to get invaded or anything like that happens, or if these evil corporations do feel like pulling the plug and we're left without power, without food, without running water, it would be great for us to have our own independent infrastructure or little bits of little infrastructures or seeds of infrastructures all over the country and all over the world um, that are able to do these things, to get their own food, to, to generate their own income, to develop their own currency through generating their income, and to have their own water, and to have their own technology, and have all these things also be done in a clean and good way. And you can start these, you know, these type of things up all over the world, and, and with YouTube and social media, we can show people how to do this stuff so that they could learn from us and, and do it themselves in whatever country or part of the world they're in. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I'm all about the fighting and the necessary things that go into that and, and taking up arms when it's necessary. But without a supply chain and without the ability to feed our troops and to train our troops and, and to have them work for them to do on and living shelters and a way for us to come together and, and start learning how to work as a team, we're not going to be able to do any of those things. And I'm not going to sit here and, and, you know, say by choosing just to prepare is essentially saying that we've lost already. Like, if you guys really think that it's that bad when we have two over like 300 million people here on this country... We outnumber these these evil criminals largely. You know, the, the, Aubrey Marcus said it was a million to one. It may not, I don't know what it is exactly, but I do feel we have a huge numbers advantage. 
but that it's only an advantage if we can learn to work together. If we can't learn to work together, I think, like I said, we're all going to be doomed, you know? And yeah, some of you guys in the far outskirts, rural communities, very remote, yeah, you guys will be isolated and you're going to be fine, but you're also going to be super fucking lonely and cut off from the rest of the world and living as fucking, you know, essentially recluses while you've got this new W over fucking movement that's going to continue to flourish. And I do think eventually they're probably going to make sure that all remaining fucking resistance are, are, are essentially assimilated or wiped out. That's what I would do if I were them. So it behooves you guys, you preppers out there, to start working together and talking together and finding some common ground and common businesses that are good businesses for us to, to do and to start developing and to help, you know, get people out of these cities and help give them good jobs, help give them good training, help, you know, open up, you know, arms manufacturers. But we also got to be very... We need to start working with the police departments. I, I do feel I have a lot of faith in the police departments and they get their orders from above, but it's like I, a lot of these police officers, I saw a video from the gentleman who did, who was talking to a cop. and said, why don't you get your cop buddies and go and arrest Biden? And the cop was all for it, but he's got his hands tied because people above him who, who pay for his bills will, will fucking stop paying his bills, his paycheck, and he's going to be forced to live on the streets. So that's why we need an independent infrastructure so that these cops have a, a safe place to go to with resources and with everything they need should the evil ones pull out the fucking plug from them when they try to stand up and arrest these criminals. So that's the situation. I hope it makes sense. And I'm going to continue to talk about it more because it's a very, you know, serious topic and we are in very serious times. So every decision we make now is going to have consequences in the future. So, all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.